What's up guys, welcome to your 17th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys a bunch of new tricks concerning the flex box model. However, before we do, I just want to mention that I finished styling the rest of our little template here and I just posted all the code on the forum. So I really didn't need to talk you guys through that in another tutorial because all I did is I styled these articles the same as last time and then like I said, all the code is on the forum if you need it. But we got some new stuff to talk about. So aside from bucky.html I went ahead and I started a new project called new.html and I'm gonna be using a new blank CSS file and that was just cuz I didn't wanna you know bucky.html was getting kinda old so we're out with the old in with the new so what I did is I just got our basic template with our you know basic setup meta title and link tag and make sure you link your new CSS file and once you are good to go we're ready to get started so the only thing that we're gonna have in this is pretty much four div boxes so this is just for demonstrating what I want to teach you guys so go ahead and follow me right now make a section and we're gonna have one main section and four div boxes inside it and just give it an ID you can either name it like parent or mommy or something and just go ahead and end this and now just go ahead and put four simple divs in here so div ID equal kid one and wow well, I'm just gonna go ahead and type that again embarrassing div ID equal kid one and I'll just put like kid one in here and in that div and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this a bunch of times so let's work with four kids as divs change all my crap two three and four four three two okay so I have one main mommy section and four kids in there so if we go ahead and save this and look at it in Chrome we can see that okay we have four kids lined up one underneath each other so we need to go ahead and change the styling immediately because that looks horrendously bad the very first thing I want to do is in our mommy I want to add some I just am doing this to make it look pretty this isn't really the tutorial at all but I want to add a border of two pixels solid blue and under this I'm gonna display webkit box now the reason I'm doing this is because since we're gonna be looking at some examples of the flex box model or the flexible box model you need to make the parent box again I can't stress this enough please do not forget it now also in order to get those children tags side by side we need to orient them horizontally so webkit box orient horizontal and I believe if we save this they should be side by side so let me go ahead and launch this baby in Chrome and check it out now everything is side by side however if we look at this whenever we move these things around it's gonna be hard to tell what one's kid one kid two kid three kid four they all kinda of look the same they must be have a what's it not twins not triplets but what's a four called I don't know leave me a comment and tell me but anyways that's what it looks like right now and we want all distinctive kids because if not this example is gonna get really complicated so let me just go ahead and style these really quick so for kid one I'm just gonna go ahead and make a border around it two pixels solid red and let's give it a background color we'll give each one a different background so the background for this can be green and padding can be like 20 pixels and might as well give it a margin of 10 pixels too so now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this a couple times make sure I didn't mess anything up before I copy this one two three four so now I change kid 2 can have a yellow background kid 3 can have I don't know he can be red be a redhead and kid 4 can have orange I don't think we use orange so far in this tutorial series so now let me go ahead and save this and refresh it and now 
that we got that I just want to point out this is a lot easier to see because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be changing the size of these boxes and orienting them changing the order of them so these boxes are a whole lot easier to see than you know just that text so now that I can talk the talk let me go ahead and walk the walk the very first example I want to show you guys how to do is change the order of these boxes and that's one of the brilliant things that HTML5 and CSS3 is gonna give us the ability to change the order so if we look at our diff tags we got kid one two three four all in the order according to our website layout right like that however if we go in our main parent tag our main mommy section we can go ahead and add something like this webkit box direction and I believe um, what's called the default of this is normal so if we go ahead and reverse this and save it now check this out when I refresh our kid one two three four it goes from four three two one so if you're like okay I just built the perfect website but I want everything flip backward you can do it in one line of code instead of having to do pretty much rewrite rewrite your entire website oh, that's kind of a tongue twister there so that is one trick and now that we got the template set up exactly how we want it got all our kids a different color I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of new tricks in the upcoming tutorials but for now that one trick is the only one you get so again I know I'm just doing it with stupid boxes right here but if you were to make an actual website this would be a huge section such as I don't know maybe your drop down list this would be your main content this would be a news on the right hand side and this would be your ads so these are just little examples that you can apply to a bigger concept later on but like I said we're gonna be talking about that in the upcoming tutorials for now that's all you get so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember kids don't go to college